वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एट विद्यालंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट आवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल ओवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यू एडेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in the comment box thank you this is the circuit diagram and we have drawn the stick diagram according to that for drawing that we are going to draw four horizontal lines for vdd p diffusion and diffusion and ground now you have you can see that the source of a p mos is connected to vdd and that of n mos is connected to ground so uh, and i am i have numbered it accordingly like s1 d1 d2 s2 so according to that i have given s1 to uh, vdd and s2 to ground now as you can see the output is between d1 and d2 i have connected d1 and d2 and given the output and the input is given with the help of polysilicon which is red these are the colors which we are used to denote the following things now as you have already seen the circuit diagram and the stick diagram now let's look at its implementation on microwin this is how the microwin window looks like now go to file and select new after doing that go to file again and select the foundry and uh, select 035 and open it after doing that you need pi it to be 1 lambda in order to do that click on the zoom in sign and click on the screen you'll get 1 lambda you will get the metals and all other stuff in this palette now let's draw the metal after drawing the metal now let's draw the p diffusion according to the circuit diagram given here as you can see i have drawn the metal of 2 lambda and p diffusion of 4 lambda this is done in order to connect the contact properly which requires minimum 2 lambda now let's connect the metal and draw the contact for s after doing that the screen would look like this now let's draw the n well which is extremely important as we have to keep at least 6 lambda distance from all the sides of the metal and the polysilicon and the p diffusion let's do it as i told you that is at least 6 lambda should be left i have left some more distance so that i won't get any problem after doing that let's connect the polysilicon polysilicon should be at least 2 lambda long and it looks like this i have extended the polysilicon downwards now let's draw the n diffusion and the other metal and also give a contact to that according to the stick diagram which is here this is how it looks now this is currently at 5 lambda so that i can show you properly now let's draw the output This is how the complete layout of the stick diagram looks like. Now we have to give the input and output. For giving that, we have this symbol. This is for VDD. Just click there and click on this blue line and click in the number. Then this is used for the ground and give it on this blue line. Now. after doing that we need one input and output this clock signal gives the input and click on the polysilicon and assign it and this i symbol with that is visible node give us the output and assign it 
Now this is how we are representing the CMOS inverter on microgrid. Now let's run it and check are we getting the proper output or not. Here you can see that when input is 0, you are getting output as 1 and when input is 1, you are getting output as 0. Thus, it is working properly as an inverter. Now this is the this is all about today's experiment, its circuit diagram, its stick diagram and its representation on microwind. That's all for today. Thank you.